Are you ready to take the challenge? My name is Josh Pather, American business entrepreneur. I'm going to be taking Philip Cunningham from zero to 100,000 in revenue with a brand new photo booth business. Everything has changed in business since the last photo booth boss. So we're doing it all over again. We're starting from zero. Are you ready to accept the challenge? Are you ready to blow up your business? Are you ready to change your life? Are you ready to create your legacy? I show you beautiful places like this to inspire you, to show you what's possible when you start your business. What are you willing to do? What are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to work hard? The clock doesn't start till 5 p.m. You have to commit. You have to be ready to take action. But if you want to take it to the next level, we invite you on the journey. Welcome to Photo Booth Boss, season two. Veterans edition. I haven't been to Texas in a while. I, uh, my first time in Texas was during basic training at San Antonio for the Air Force. And that's when I was first introduced to just how hot the summers can get. Um, I joined the Air Force August 22nd, 2006. So I was lucky enough to enjoy the full full brunt of the summer of uh, Texas summer heat but I like Texas Texas is good it's been a good place for me it was the beginning of a lot of big things for me so Texas and then I went I think I moved after that I went to Shepard Air Force Base which is uh, northern Texas and every once in a while I come back down to San Antonio I got a few friends that uh, live in the area. But this is my first time in the Dallas area. Uh, my name is Philip Cunningham. I am the owner of Photo Booth Hot Shots uh, based out of uh, Fort Washington, Maryland. Uh, I kind of stumbled into it to be honest with you. Um, my wife was at the time she was doing a, uh, a hookah business so she did parties and events and things and I would always go with her to help her and I, I, I saw how much fun she was having and I thought it might be a good uh, business venture so I didn't want to do hookahs I wanted to try to find something similar or something in my own that I could do you know unique from which what she was doing and um, I kept researching different things and I kept running into photo booths and photo booths and from different companies and I, and I had never used a photo booth before um, but the more I researched and the more I looked into it and watched videos it seemed like something that was kind of interesting um, and so I started reaching out to different companies and one of the companies I reached out to was, um, was PBI I started watching some videos and, I, and the more and more I watched the more intrigued I got and I ended up um, becoming a customer with PBI. So if you, if you got to know, if you've heard about his story, um, you, you know that he always wanted more. He always wanted a better life for himself and he, he would, he's tried and failed in several different um, in enterprises before uh, he became a, a photo booth owner. And I, I have a similar backstory where I've tried different businesses, failed at different businesses um, before I, I, I became a photo booth owner. So there, for me, that's a, a strong, a strong desire, a correlation because I, I see a lot of the things that he's done and I see the things that I've, I've done and I, I feel, feel a connection to, to um, his story because it's a shared story between um, myself and probably a lot of other people who've come to the United States with the hope of a better life, um, who've tried and failed and have now um, had some success. So uh, to me, his story is very inspiring and you know, whenever I feel like I can't do it, I know that it's been done before, you know. Uh, so that for me, that that was a huge mom, a huge reason why I I, I originally went with PBI because uh, it's it's one thing for for 
someone who's been here who maybe has had some things handed to them or, or had some opportunities that other people have had, but Josh has not. He, he, you know, very plainly shows, hey, this is my report card. I wasn't the best student. Hey, you know, I came here to America with two bags, um, so I really didn't have a foundation to start with. Everything was was uh, uh, was created from just hustle and grit. And to me, it, it always inspires me because I know if Josh could come here um, just like I came here with nothing and then build from, from nothing, then it, to me that's inspiring and it pushes me forward whenever I feel like stopping because I see what he's, he's done and he, Josh believes in me that I could do that too. The, the, so my very first paid event was um, for, like, for a cancer survivor. And it was, it was really touching to me because um, my, my job, my full-time job um, is a nurse. Like I'm a nurse by trade. So talking to my client, you know, beforehand, getting to know her information, getting to really know her, what she wanted for this party, why it was important to her. Um, the reason, the people, meeting the, the people that she wanted to celebrate this, um, this occasion with. And then because of my medical background, I knew the type of difficulty she went through to get from the beginning of breast cancer to her breast cancer in remission. And that was, that, had that, having that interaction with her and having that, that um, being able to help her celebrate that moment, that for me was one of my, my, my honestly, my most cherished uh, event that I've done. Um, and it wasn't a huge event, but I want to tell you, I, I, there was the most smiles at that day. There were tears, there were happy tears, there were hugs. I mean, like, I, I feel it in my heart, just like, just reliving it now, just that joy that she experienced. And my photo booth was a big part of that. Like, I still, I run into people even to this day that were at that party and they will take out their wallet or take out their phone and they'll show me a picture that I took of them and their loved ones and they say, Phil, we had an amazing time. Thank you so much. That meant so much to us. You just don't know what you being there added to, to that celebration. And that, that like I melted. When they, when they told me that, like I, I just melted. That was for me, I was hooked, done. You couldn't tell me anything less. I was gonna do photo booths forever. So one of the reasons why I started my photo booth company was um, my son was diagnosed with autism uh, a little bit after his second, third, third uh, birthday. And um, I, will, I, learned, I learned this as I was going through nursing school and I was, we were studying child development and I was realizing that my son was not reaching any of the milestones that he was supposed to for that time of his life. Um, so with that knowledge we went and we got him tested and, and that's how we got the diagnosis of autism. He's going to therapy and, and you know, he's, he's eight years old and he does well, but there's always a fear in the back of my mind that I might have to take care of him one day. And after COVID, I, I realized that um, I, I, I can't work for the rest of my life. I need to create some type of business or entity or, or some type of structure that if something happens to dad, my son is taken care of. And, and Josh is very big on, on creating wealth, not just for, for me, for like my generations. And the people that you depend on may not always be there. So my wife and I decided that, that if something were to happen, we always want our son to be taken care of. So if for me it was important that I create a business or create some type of entity that's there to take care of my son. It was exactly what I was looking for and it was exactly what I needed because I had that fear in my back of my mind that I can't, if my son needs me, I will always have to show up because I'm his father. And if he can't take care of himself, dad's gonna take care of him. And that's something that my wife and I, we, we feel very strongly for. And we knew we couldn't accomplish that goal on a W-2, um, a W-2 as a W-2 employee. We needed some type of business, we needed some type of entity that was gonna outlast us if, some, if the worst happened. And I work in nursing homes, I work in hospitals, I know what it's like when someone is not taken care of properly who has a disability. And I refuse, I flat refused for that to be my son.